How's it going everybody? Zab here and welcome to this week's Hockey Ultimate Team Update. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this thing, I want to remind you of our sponsor, BC Lions Rock 11 or Monday. Make sure to go follow him on Twitter. Great guy, great HUD account, does amazing giveaways, so make sure to follow him and tell him that I sent you. Alright, so here we are, this week's Hockey Ultimate Team update. We only really made two changes, but they were two drastic changes to this team. Obviously, you see there at the Stanley Cup Playoffs Team of the Week there. Obviously, congratulations to the Los Angeles Kings for winning their second cup in three years. Um, pretty nasty looking Team of the Week. Obviously, it's pretty much all just the same for the past month or so. But So, on to the team here. If you guys watch any of my live streams, uh, you've probably seen the two players I picked up. I live streamed, I think twice last week so uh, I'm trying to do that a lot more this summer since I have a little more free time on my hands uh, but if you watch those streams you already saw who I got so I'm just going to show you right off the bat but let's just show you the team first obviously you see the fourth line is nowhere near as good as it used to be last week last week it was team of the week Thornton team of the week St. Louis and team of the week Kessel and uh, same with the third line, it was Team of the Week Bergeron, Team of the Week um, Kovalchuk, and Team of the Week Zetterberg. Obviously now it's just Tarasenko and Molson. Uh, same defensively, uh, it used to be Team of the Week Subban and Team of the Week Cronwall. It's now Bogosian and Ryan Murray. Uh, so obviously not as good as far as depth goes, but I think it was all worth it because I'll show you who I ended up getting. Um, I'll show you who I got just, when was it, like two nights ago, I think, on stream. I forgot exactly what I traded. I traded... Um, Spooner's Hut. Uh, let's see, what did I trade him? All right, so this is the player that I actually ended up getting right here. The 98 overall Jonathan Taze, and I actually need to put the assistant captain on him in a second uh, to get him to 99, but a dirty looking card. 93 skating, 93 shot, 97 hands, 91 checking, and 97 defense. It's just absolutely disgusting looking. Um, I traded Spooner's Hut a team of the week 94 overall Taze. A Team of the Week Subban, Team of the Week Cronwall, Team of the Week Zetterberg, and 220K, which is um, just south, uh, or just north, excuse me, of 1.3 million. So I think I overpaid by a handful of pucks, but that's alright, I needed this guy on the team. He's uh, just a pretty sick looking card, fairly rare, there's not too many of them in the game, uh, so I just had to get him on the team. So that's what I did for that. And then uh, probably a couple days before I actually ended up getting this card, I got the best card that I've ever had rating-wise. Probably the best card I've ever had just overall uh, as a whole. And also the most expensive card that I've ever had in this game. Right here, I ended up trading Rahonic, and I'll go ahead and take a look what I traded him. I forgot exactly. Actually, I think I remember. Uh, but I ended up trading for this guy on stream. This is 99 Ovechkin now. He is 99 with the boosts, but once those boosts uh, wear off in one game, you see by the salary, he is the legit 99 overall. Um, he goes for right about 2 mil, 2.1, 2.2 mil. Uh, I ended up trading a, Nor a Team of the Week Ovechkin, a Team of the Week, um, what was it, Kovalchuk, and 750k. Which comes out to right around anywhere from 1.2 to 1.3 million, just depending on what OV went for. Um, I know last sold price on the 96 OV, probably like 12 hours prior to the trade, was 1 million pucks. And then when I made the trade, it was like 950 or 975, excuse me. So uh, he is kind of a card that fluctuates, so it kind of just depends. Um, but right around 2.2, 2.3 mil. Uh, so it was overpaying by a little bit, but I do have to give a big shout out. He never asked for it or anything. Thing, but I got to give a huge shout out to JLA Chance 92 or J La Chance. I'm not exactly uh, positive on how he pronounces it, but he gave me what was it 500k total during one stream, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I haven't ever talked to the guy before. He just ma messaged me on Xbox randomly, told me to put up a contract, and uh, kept telling me to put up more contracts, more contracts, and more contracts, and ended up, uh, by the end of the night, giving right around 500k, so I gotta give a huge shout out to him, there's no way this OV would have been on my team without him, so, uh, that was pretty huge, and now that's the team right there, it's looking pretty nasty, uh, obviously I still need to work on the third line, and then work on the fourth line, I think my goal for this upcoming week is to get the 98 Alex, or, excuse, not Alexander Ovechkin, 98 Evgeny Malkin, I know a couple people with a Malkin, so I might be able to work out a deal, um, he goes for, I 
I think right about 1.3 million. I know his last sold price was a little over that. I think someone overpaid by quite a bit, but 1.3 is about what he's going for. Right now I have 120k in the bank, uh, so I still need to save up quite a few uh, pucks. I'll probably end up selling Bergeron for like 300k or so, or 280, whatever he's going for, and uh, saving up a little bit and then getting the 98 Malkin. So that's the plan. Again, there's the defense. I'll show you the goaltenders one last time. Also, I've done a couple wager matches, so that's why there may be some players on my team that you don't see or that used to be there a couple weeks ago. I still need to edit those and put those out. But that's the team. The record's 770, 302, and 59. Obviously, 120K in the bank, like I said. Let's go ahead and take a look at the online record. I haven't been playing too much. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just getting a little bored of HUD. It, it happens every single time right around this year, right when NHL 15 starts to... Uh, Starts to come out with all the trailers and everything. That's when everyone starts to focus on that and not really care about NHL 14. But 6-2-0 this season. Two games remaining. Hopefully we can get another title. 7-3-0 uh, in the last 10 games. All, overall online record of 4-63-2-59-53. and 53. We'll look at the stats really quick. Mainly look at the Alexander Ovechkin and that Jonathan Taze real quick. Uh, I think they're, I know actually, they're both a point per game. I know that much. But let's see how good they actually are doing. Um, let's see, McFlicker, oh, what a beauty, but, uh, there you go, Ovechkin, 14 games played, uh, 18 points, he's been really, really spot on for me, he's just been outstanding, to be honest with you, uh, the 96 overall was a really good card as well, and, uh, I don't know if I could tell that much of a difference between the 99 and the 96, um, I didn't really study the 96, I'm sure if you put them side by side, you know, you might be able to tell a, di a big difference, but, um, from what I could feel, he has boosts on him, so it's, I don't know how he's going to perform without the boosts but he does feel a lot faster obviously he I mean, again he has the boost on him to make him 99 skating but uh, he does feel a little bit faster other than that I really just can't tell that much uh, it seems that he's a lot harder to knock off the puck but other than that I really can't tell much is he worth the 2 to 2.3 mil probably uh, probably not I think the only reason that it's worth it to me is just because of the rarity factor but that's that um, let's go on to where is uh, Taze, right there, 129 points in 129 games, so exactly a point per game, um, just an overall great player, to be quite honest, he hasn't been uh, lights out for me quite yet, I know, I think he's only played one online game with me and had two goals, so obviously that's great, but whenever I play against friends and whatnot, uh, he doesn't necessarily come up on the scoreboard all that often, so I, you know, he's a good card, rare card, I'm not going to sell him, he's probably going to stay on the team for the, uh, uh, the, until NHL 15 comes out, he's probably just going to stay on the team, he has a spot locked down, but, uh, not not the greatest card so far in the past couple of games that I've used him, but it looks like whoever owned him before me uh, had a lot of fun with him with 129 points in 129 games. But that's pretty much the team. Um, I suppose we can look at the leaderboard real, real quick. Monthly, we are 3,018. Yeah, we haven't played that much. Same with... Uh, weekly, we just have not played all that much. I think I played maybe five, yeah, five and two. Um, and then overall, hopefully, we're cracking the top 1,000. Like I said, haven't played. Yeah, not even cracking the the top 1K yet. But uh, if we play a few more games this week, I'm sure I can get there. So that's the rank. That's the team. That's the stats. That's everything that needs to be said. Uh, needs to be seen. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do hit that big thumbs up button. Subscribe for much, much more, guys. As always, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time.